take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. To test a fuse without multimeter, take a flashlight equipped with a flat battery. Unscrew the bulb and get the battery. Place the fuse of one of the battery blades and the base of the bulb on the other side of the fuse. Put the bulb pad in contact with the second blade of the battery. Let's help you make your mark. Cartridge fuses look like shotgun shells. You can test whether a cartridge fuse is blown by touching both ends of a multimeter to each end of the cartridge fuse. Low resistance is good, high resistance indicates the fuse is blown. 0 21 July 2017. Make your mark, take our lead. A homeowner can determine if a glass fuse is blown by performing a visual inspection and looking for a break in the thin wire and a brown discoloration in the center of the fuse. A ceramic fuse, however, shows no damage upon visual inspection. Testing a ceramic fuse is the only way to tell if the fuse has blown. Make your mark, take our lead. How to test a fuse with a multimeter. To test if the fuse is blown, we require a multimeter. Once configured, a multimeter can measure the resistance of the fuse element. Resistance is measured in ohms, omega. Take our lead. The only tool required to check a relay is a multimeter. With the relay removed from the fuse box, the multimeter set to measure DC voltage and the switch in the cab activated, first check to see if there are 12 volts at the 85 position in the fuse box where the relay plugs in, or wherever the relay is located. 27 April 2017. Let's help you make your mark. How to calibrate a digital multimeter. Set the multimeter to the highest resistance range by turning the dial to the highest ohm setting. Touch the test probes of your digital multimeter together. Press the calibration knob until the display reads zero on the digital multimeter if you don't see zero ohms initially. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.